Hi everyone. So we are going to start with workbench today, and uh, we are going to perform a very simple static structural analysis today on a circular uh, beam. So let's first drag static structural from list to the project schematic. So the very first thing that we see here is engineering data, and uh, let's dive into that what is it's all about so it's open yeah so we have engineering data so here we have the very default material that's structural steel uh, so we'll go on engineering data sources here we can find different materials that uh, we can use uh, so uh, we'd like to use let's say aluminium so it will be in let's see in general materials uh, so we have gray cast so we have to see aluminium we don't have aluminium in general materials okay let's talk a bit so yeah we have aluminium in explicit material so we'll be importing al double one double zero that is the most pure form of aluminium that's present so we'll use plus sign and we have imported it in our engineering data so now this engineering data will be reflected into our ANSYS solver part so we'll go out of that i'll uh, we'll move out of uh, engineering data part now we next come is geometry so we have to form the geometry so uh, we can either use three space claim design modeler geometry or like discovery geometry but we'll go with space claim uh, now we are into space claim so we have to first select the plane in which we are going to draw so i am going to use select new sketch plane and i'd like to uh, sketch my geometry in xy plane yeah so i have selected xy plane and i have changed the plane that i'll be using for sketching So we have entered sketch mode and as we said that we are going to model a circular beam so i'll point this cursor and let's say we need a beam of 50 mm diameter so i'll write 50 using my keyboard and press enter so we have a circle that is of 50 mm diameter now we need a length of around 500 mm so uh, we'll use this tool that is pull and uh, now we can pull using this tool so like we can see and now we'll put 500 here and press enter now we have a beam of 500 mm uh, this beam is a solid beam <clears throat> so yeah we'll first go with solid beam and i'll say okay exit space clean and i'll click on exit now uh, we have we can see as we have exited from space claim now we can see that uh, our model has uh, a refreshment sign so what we can do we can do a right click on that and click left click on edit now we'll be entering mechan ansys mechanical uh, where we are going to mesh our model and going to solve it for uh, different equations now we have entered the ansys mechanical part and uh, first thing that we can see here is geometry 
so we'll expand this part and we have the solid part uh, if you can see here in material part you will find that we have assigned material as structural steel but we have actually imported aluminium uh, we wanted this uh, this uh, rectangle circular bar to be of aluminium so we'll change it to aluminium so we have this material aluminium 1100 so we'll change that <coughs> okay so we have changed the material from structural steel to aluminium now we'll see the material as we have both the materials mentioned here nothing impressive okay so meshing now we can mesh it for the default settings let's see what uh, mesh do we get from here and it's a fairly coarse mesh if you can see and this might not give us a very good result uh, let's see the statistics and we have just 253 elements that is like very low so uh, we'd like to have our elements close to thousand like two elements every mm of this uh, that circular beam so okay what we should do is we can change the sizing and uh, we have to select the geometry now now uh, we have to select right click and we can change the cursor mode to body now uh, we have selected cursor mode to body so that we can generate 3d mesh like tetrahedral or a hexahedral mesh uh, as uh, the bar we have is thicker than 5 So now we have selected the beam and uh, we have selected it for the whole body and we'll click on apply and now we can change the element size uh, we'd like to keep default element size is around 25 mm and uh, let's uh, let's go around 10 mm of element size and we'll mesh this bar again as we can see we have somewhere around 1500 elements and that is very good but if you'll see on the faces the elements aren't aligned very well on both the faces so we'd like this uh, mesh to be symmetric rather than this creating this much of asymmetry on both the faces so we can apply another thing here so right click on the mesh insert and we'll use now face meshing so i'll select both the faces that were not having regular meshes and i'll update this mesh and see what happens as we can see the mesh has updated but uh, we have now much more structured mesh on both the faces and also along the body now what we have to do the problem now with face meshing is it wasn't able to generate some seriously good results for us so we delete that now what options do we have if we we want like so uh, we can do what one thing is like we can uh, change sizing for fish as well so uh, I'll go on cursor mode and yeah cursor mode right now is on faces only I'll select both the faces again apply and so uh, let's say I'd also make these element sizes on faces let's say 10 mm as we have body sizes of 10 mm only and let's see the effect okay again so problem uh, with this one is that we aren't getting any regular meshes and 
we can also check for quality of mesh that we have generated so uh, if we'll go in mesh matrix <clears throat> then we can see the element quality that we have generated and uh, if we'll click on uh, element quality things then we will know like what are the poorly meshed elements that we have and if we see we hardly have any poor quality mesh on the faces actually so that does a lot of things fine so uh, okay so we have a good enough quality mesh now we will move towards the boundary condition part so uh, I wanted to create a cantilever beam so I have to fix this beam from one end so I'll be uh, using fix support so right click on static structure and then select fix support select one of the faces and apply we have fixed this end of beam and uh, now I'll be applying a load on it so I'll be applying force and I want to apply force on this very edge so I have selected my cursor to be on face select mode so I'll select it for edge selection only and yeah I have this edge selected and I'll apply my force on that uh, but now the problem is with direction and uh, I'd like to have a minus six directions for my load and uh, uh, if we'll see on forces detail part that the force is defined by vector here so uh, what we can do we can change it to component part and now we have com converted our uh, force that have XYZ components and we can put values for it so I'd like to have uh, 100 kilo newtons so that is e to the power 3 we have the force but the problem with this is this force is positive x direction and I'd like to have a negative x direction force and if yeah so it is 100 kilo newton force we have aluminium solid bar here and uh, here what would we like to do is solve our model as we can see we have a question mark here so probably we haven't been able to provide everything to the model yet so yeah we have two different things We are having this and uh, okay, so I guess we have to use remote force here. So, what is remote force? So, this can be applied on a remote part, and this actually applies on a distributed part. So, I'll use remote force apply. Uh, I'd have to change its to component and I'd like to have minus 100 to the power 300 kilonewtons of force we are yet uh, haven't been able to resolve model so so we'll apply force on this will change let's see what has happened so again 100 e to the power 3 <coughs> this 
is something miss missing in the model that we aren't able to resolve as of now so okay maybe we haven't maybe the model haven't been updated let's move towards what uh, results we'll be plotting for this so we'll be plotting a total deformation we'll be plotting equivalent stress we'll be plotting bending stress okay so we have to actually apply something called path here so we'll see that later i'd like to also deformation probes and all uh, that is fine i guess so okay so what the problem is with our material actually it uh, doesn't have enough properties so we have to change our material and uh, let us take aluminium alloy 60614 now and yeah we have a very good sign here our solver has completed solving the model and uh, we can now see what are the results for total deformation so as we can see this end of our that was expected has deformed most and it has deformed most in negative x-axis yeah so we plot it along y yeah as we can see <coughs> equivalent stress has crossed a 4000 mark that is way too much actually so we can also change how our results being plotted so we can go on results tab then we can change we if we don't want to see like our mesh elements also so we can uh, hide wireframe that is no wireframe option and now we have no wireframes here and we can also like have an undeformed wireframe model as well so if we can see here a shadow that tells us that this part is actually undeformed and this part is what has happened after results being plotted now we can also change our counters uh, this has gone smooth 